my name is Nicole Perry. I'm a senior at Arley High School and I am enrolled in the Grovant Tribe on the Fort Belknap Reservation. I'm Ivory Brand. I'm a senior. I'm affiliated with the Blackfeet Tribe. So my name is Corey McVicker. I am a sophomore, going to be a junior, and I am a second descendant on the Flathead Indian Reservation. My name is Carly Herget, and I'm a senior, um, non-native. Hi, I'm Mackenzie Ketter. I am a junior from Arley High School, and I'm non-native. Uh, my name is Rory Bird. I am of the Cree Nation, the Salish Nation, and the Blackfoot Nation. I am enrolled on the Salish and Kootenai Reservation, and I am also a junior in Arley High School. The Reservation Blasters Club is needed because we need to start breaking down stereotypes off the reservation. People don't really understand how it is to live on the reservation. I joined this club because I think it is very important to me. I think the Reservation Ambassadors Club is needed because to, um, information just needs to be out there to spread awareness and stop stereotypes. Um, people don't know what they don't know, like Hannah Baldwin said. I joined because being a non-native on this reservation, I've seen a lot of stuff that I think is important to others and that shouldn't get out there. I feel that when you look at natives and their history, not much of what is modern is presented to anyone. Like the most modern thing that you get is pretty much uh, like treaties made in the 1800s and stuff like that. And I'd really like to educate the public, um, both on and off the reservation, that we're still here and that we are still a very um, important and lively people. I believe that the club is needed because a lot of people are unaware of how similar Native American life is to non-Native American life. I think it's needed because it educates the ignorance of people around Montana and around of, that aren't on reservations. And I joined because I like educating people. I joined the club because I thought it was important to be involved in something that can benefit Native Americans. Uh, as an A student, my, my needs have been met by, the well, teachers have always been curious of my culture and other classmates cultures like even though they're not like are they from a different tribe off the reservation or on another, from another reservation they've always didn't really make assumptions that we were all the same like we all had different different cultures uh, there was actually a incident last year in my freshman year of high school where we were doing papers on genocides of the world and um, took a bit of persuading, but I was actually able to have Gomer let me do a report on Native American genocide because not very many people know that there was a genocide in North America. And so I feel like that was something very important to me. It's very personal um, due to my Native roots. And I was happy that she let me do that. And then my, my sophomore English teacher, she was actually very intuitive in the way that she was interested and involved in the way she wanted to learn about Native uh, culture and uh, the people because there was much she didn't know and I'm not an expert myself but there's also a good amount that I knew and she would just question me and we'd go back and forth in conversation exchanging like information on what she thought and what I know and what I thought and what she knows and it was just a very good back and forth and I thought that was very good to see because there's a teacher, a white teacher, coming in wanting to learn and experience um, Native Americans like that. I feel like teachers have always met my needs. Most 
the, the time Native American students are very different from non-Native American students. I feel like they could have been done, or things could have been done differently, or like said differently, because sometimes they they just like they don't think about what they're gonna say, but of course that's not always their fault because they don't they don't know. I guess they don't know what the right thing to say, and that's why I like reservation ambassadors because I can teach people that. I feel that since we are on a reservation, there should be like some sort of personalized system of education, much like Nkusum does, that incorporates much of the Native American uh, heritage and culture. We do have uh, Indian studies, we do have uh, language classes, but I feel like even in just general classes like math and uh, especially social studies in U.S. history, we could incorporate more and more of Native American history that, and not just what you learn from like 1492 up until 1855, like all the way up until like recent days and um, sort of problems and issues that face Indian country today. Advice I would give to teachers on the reservation would be to get to know your kids before you say anything. I think advice I'd give to Native or non-Native teachers and Native teachers teaching on the reservation is to always be culturally sensitive to not just Native Americans but to everyone because the reservation is a truly culturally diverse place. The advice I would give to teachers, to teaching Native American students, is to get a better understanding of where they come from. Um, and then to maybe add some lessons in that interest them, such as their history or big things that have happened in the history of Native Americans, but that aren't like really out there. Like, you don't really hear them talk about the Native American movement that much or any of the things that Native Americans have done. Advice I would give teachers is don't make assumptions about kids. Think before you say something, always be courteous of, of people's cultures.